kitchen today and I am going to make an herb salad dressing. We have so many beautiful veggies growing in the edible schoolyard right now like lettuce, radishes, arugula, and we have so many delicious flavorful herbs. So what I'm going to do is make a yummy dressing using herbs from the garden and some other ingredients and then I can drizzle it on top of salads to make them extra delicious. This is a recipe that's really fun and easy to make with stuff that you probably already have at your house. So you can grab your grown-up and try it with me. All right, friends, we're out in the edible schoolyard garden now, and I'm gonna start harvesting some herbs that I think will add a really nice flavor to our salad dressing. Right here, I've got one of my favorites, chives. They are related to onions and garlic, so they have kind of a similar flavor. I think they work really well in all kinds of different recipes, especially in salads. So I've got my bowl, and I've got my scissors so that I can harvest them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find a leaf, trace it all the way back to where it meets the rest of the plant, and cut it off. And there we have some chives. I'm going to get a couple more. Let's see what other herbs we've got. Here we have an herb called thyme. Thyme is a great one that, just like chives, goes well in a lot of different kinds of recipes. So I'm going to pick a stem and I'm going to cut it right above where some new leaves are growing out of the stem. Just a little sprig. Here is an herb called savory. This one is one that I have never grown before, but it likes it a lot down here. And you can see we've got a big, beautiful patch of it. It smells and tastes a little bit like thyme, so I think it's delicious going to do the same thing and harvest it by cutting the stem right above another pair of leaves. Look at that happy little ladybug hanging out on our oregano. That's a beautiful sight my friends. Oregano is another herb that does really well in our garden. Just look at how much we're growing right now. This is a really fun and easy one you can grow at your house too. So we're going to do the same thing and just harvest a stem of oregano to put in our salad dressing. Here is another herb that I really love for summer recipes and salad dressings. This, my friends, is basil. These basil plants are just getting started for the year, so they're a little bit too small to harvest from. So I'll use them later when the plants have grown a bit. Over here we have some mint growing. A lot of people think that mint is just for desserts like mint ice cream or mint cookies. But I think mint goes really well in savory dishes too. So we're gonna throw a little bit of that in our dressing. While we're out in the garden harvesting herbs, I thought I would show you our beautiful radishes. They have such a pretty purpley, pinky color and they're so big and healthy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest it by gathering up the leaves in my hand and gently wiggling, wiggling, wiggling till I can pull it out. And look, the two came out together. These are going to be great on my salad. You can't forget about our lettuce either. This is a type of romaine lettuce called freckles. It's called freckles because of those cool little red spots. Okay friends, I think we have enough herbs for our recipe now. So I've harvested chives, thyme, savory, oregano, and mint. That's five different herbs. But you can use fewer or more and all different kinds. You can use whatever you've got growing in your garden, in your neighborhood, or that you can find at the grocery store. Friends, we're back in the Edible Schoolyard kitchen now. And I've washed my herbs and I'm letting them dry right now. So let me introduce you to the other ingredients in our salad dressing. 
Today we're gonna to be making what's called a vinaigrette. It is a yummy dressing that is mostly made out of olive oil and lemon juice and vinegar. Now you could use just lemon juice or just vinegar, whatever tastes best to you and whatever you have at your house. Give it a little test shake, and then we'll see how it tastes. You gotta make sure the lid's on really tightly and hold it with two hands so that you don't drop it. Okay, let's give it a try. I've got a little tasting spoon that's gonna help me. Just gonna dip it in. Ooh, that's really good. I like that. Next, we're gonna add a couple more ingredients to give our dressing some more flavor. I like to add a little bit of honey or maple syrup to give it some sweetness, but you could also just use sugar. I always like to hold my measuring spoons over the top of the jar. That way, if I spill any, it just spills into the jar and I don't make a huge mess. And do the same with some Dijon mustard. Beautiful. Next are the very important ingredients of salt and pepper. Now it's time to shake it up again and give it another taste. Two hands. Okay, let's get a clean spoon and give it another taste. Mmm, the honey really makes it all come together. I think it could use a little bit more salt though. So I'm gonna do another big pinch. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Now I think it's time to get our herbs ready. Okay, now I've got my herbs. Let's start with the chives. You can use your hands to just rip off teeny tiny little pieces like this. Or you can use your scissors and hold the chives over your bowl and snip little tiny pieces. I find that small pieces work best in a dressing like this because they'll mix in and flavor everything just a little bit better than big chunks. Now let's move on to time. So I like to get the leaves off of thyme by holding it very gently towards the top of the stem and then running my fingers towards the bottom of the stem. Oops, sometimes you break off the top. That's okay. You just gently rub your fingers down until the stem is empty and you've got all the leaves in your hand. Thyme leaves are pretty tiny, so you don't really need to chop them up. And just sprinkle them right into the dressing. Now, we'll do the savory. Now we can move to oregano. And last but not leaf, <laughs> last but not least is our mint. And now it's time for the final shake. And 
And the final taste. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is gonna be great on my salad. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me while I made this yummy herb vinaigrette dressing. I hope you try it at home. Let me know what ingredients or herbs you used. I'm gonna go put this on my salad for lunch, but you can pour this dressing on all kinds of different things. You can use it as a dip. You can put it on rice or potatoes. I even sprinkle a little bit on my sandwich bread sometimes. Let me know how you like it best. Thanks for joining me on another Growing Up Green. See you next week.